I'm Diane. And I'm Bruce. And we, we are, are so, so batik. batik. And we are super excited to be with you today. Um, all the way from, well, I guess it's snowy out there. Well, that's moderately snowy. <laughs> moderately snowy. Um, Mayville, North Dakota. That is where we reside. Um, our little mini store in front of our warehouse and design studio and cutting shop and all that kind of stuff. So um, we're really happy to be with you at this year's Virtual Sew Expo. Yeah, I wish we could be there in person, needless to say. Yeah. I haven't had a decent scone in a couple of years now. <laughs> so we're, we're hoping that we can share with you our fabrics and our projects and some really fun things. Um, even though it's virtual, we hope you kind of get the gist of what we have here and what we can share. So um, we're gonna, we have a couple of segments, I guess today and then tomorrow. And today we're gonna focus on our fabrics because we're all about fabrics and we're all about fatigue. And um, we're gonna talk about rayon and jersey. We might get a little bit in there about cotton, but tell us a little bit about the rayon and jersey. Well, we've been uh, producing uh, our rayon batik and jersey cotton single jersey batik for about uh, three and a half years now. Uh, the, co the cotton uh, jersey is uh, 72 inches wide. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, knitted uh, from a very high quality size 40 yarns and uh, we uh, ship it to Indonesia where uh, it is undergoing fatigue processing and we bring it in here to the United States. The rayon batik is 44, 45 inches wide, very soft, very supple. Uh, one of the wonderful properties about <laughs> rayon is that it uh, absorbs dye very uh, yeah. Resonantly, or is that such a word? Or it's very <laughs> saturated, uh, and uh, it looks and it feels really great, and washes really well too. I know, uh, you know, back in the uh, early '80s when I, yeah, early '80s when I broke into this industry, you know, rayon had a really bad uh, reputation for constantly shrinking and being hard to deal with. Well, and that's just not the case, uh, certainly not with our product. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that uh, you'll find it easy to work with and you'll love the mm -hmm. results. Mm -hmm. And man, many of you may have already worked with our fabrics. Uh, you know, we this is our second year doing the virtual expo. We also um, were physically at the Puyallup uh, Fairgrounds for one year. And so some of you might be familiar with us, but that, you know, I would say that, you know, part of our instructions to people is to care for your fabrics and um, for them to last as long as you want them to last. So, you know, pre-washing them and- It's a must. It's a must. And then I, just knowing that you're starting with high quality um, rayon with high quality Jersey knit and also our cottons um as well so feel comfortable with that but one thing we do do is do do i don't know if that's a phrase um we provide swatches so if you ever have a question or want an introduction to our fabric just email us or send us a chat message on our website which is sobatique.com and we send free swatches so it can be any of the fabrics that we produce and that'll help you feel comfortable too about a color or about the feel, the base, and do your own little testing as well. So we send a care instruction card with each one and um, you'll feel comfortable with that as well. So, but let's share with you some fabric. It's time to go on a little bit of, of a tour and we'll show you some projects that we absolutely love and um, let us know if you have any questions. Welcome to our Batik Cotton Jersey Knit. I don't know which color I like better, to be honest with you, but we really try to have a wide range of shades and motifs. As you can see here, all of our pinks down to bright, and, oh, and the lake, which is absolutely our number one selling fabric. Um, all the way over to the different blues here and dark 
purples and grapes and into more of our the natural shades as well which are the greens um, our lagoon napa autumn fire i don't necessarily want to go through each and every one of them but i think the fabrics are just amazing to work with and this display here i will tell you one of the number one things that we sell are what we call our jersey knit t-shirt roll-ups they are one yard of jersey knit and since it's 72 inches wide you can get um maybe not a long sleeve shirt but a three-quarter length and a traditional uh, t-shirt out of one yard roll-ups they're just a wonderful thing to have to make we're getting into spring so we're going to have to make a lot of t-shirts um, but down this section of our uh, store you're going to see a whole bunch of different hanger samples of our fabrics that we have because some of them might not be in stock at the moment but um, they're almost here so <laughs> you're going to see every one of the shades up here as well and I want to take you through a few of our favorite projects and show you what pattern we use for each one of the garments that we'd like to feature today. And before I get going though on each one of those, I want to share with you what we call a fashion duo. And if any of you are quilters, you're used to a quilt kit. And a quilt kit has a pattern, fabric, Maybe it's just those two things, <laughs> but it's whatever it takes to make that project. We have what we call fashion duos, which are garment kits. So it's also going to have a pattern, the fabric of your size and your choosing, plus interfacing, maybe a zipper. My buttons are typically optional because they're something that we each like to enjoy adding ourselves but anything that creates that garment. And that's what a fashion duo is. And so each one of these projects you'll see on our website as a fashion duo. Now, if the pattern is not something that we offer ourselves, then we'll have a fashion pack, which is just simply minus the pattern. Hopefully that's not too confusing for you. But the first garment I really wanna show you is an amazingly soft, um, and comfortable dress and it's a McCall's pattern it is um, 68.86 and I just simply made the long sleeve version of this project and it took basically two and a half yards no two yards of fabric to make this length dress and this is our phoenix motif in the color tuxedo brass it's just a fun fun garment and again you can make this one three-quarter length it can be a tea dress for summer anything it's very simple and something that you can make in an afternoon the patterns themselves for this mccall's garment also come in two size ranges so it fits any body's body style so extra small all the way up to a 3xl this t-shirt and i know it's still kind of our fall shades but this is garden east divine autumn fire and this is the grain line pattern the lark tea again this is one of my favorites simply because you can make this as a tea uh boat neck boat neck round neck v-neck um and long sleeve three-quarter length it's just the perfect top so once you get your specific measurements and your fit the way you like it you just use this for i don't know you make a ton of of tops i've always enjoyed the collar treatment <laughs> i know isn't it just it's simple and it's it's just an easy top to make and what i like about this too is it shows that the jersey knit that we have has enough stretch to just be a pull-on jersey knit top so that is that is very good same with the dress this jacket here is um, made using our pattern that we have available on our website. It's a free download and it's a kimono jacket. The pattern was designed by Jill McCoy and she allowed us to reprint it for her. It's a simple pattern. Again, it's free download. 
this particular project took about, I believe it was a yard and a half of the Jersey knit. So definitely try that one out. There's nothing like just sitting on your couch in a nice comfy Jersey knit jacket. I'm gonna grab this pattern here. This is a very, very popular Jersey knit. Well, it can be made, you're gonna see a, a rayon version of this as well, but it is the Simplicity 8172. And it's a very, very popular pattern. We made it out of our Jersey knit with coordinating fabric. So this is the Phoenix Twilight Blue with the coordinate, which is the spray, as the flounce. And it's just such a beautiful jacket. I'm going to turn this around so you can see the back of it as well. And it has a, a seam going down the center and a, just a beautiful, beautiful flounce going all the way around. Such a comfy jacket. I don't wear this one enough. I have to wear this one more. <laughs> the next garment I want to share with you has three different components to it. And it really shows um, how we can put both our batik rayons together with our jersey knit to create an ensemble. This is entirely a cashmere pattern um grouping and i'm going to quickly go through the patterns and then show you each one of them the cashmere has the fuller cardigan which is two styles to it we made the longer version and i made this for a friend of mine and she chose not to put the buttons on the front she uses a decorative pin here instead and um so these are women's sizes the top or the pants themselves, I'm going to open this up just a little bit here. The pants are also a cashmere and they're the Calder pants. And those pants are made from? These are from the rayon. And this is the, um, actually, this is the Phoenix Navy Jewel fabric. And it works beautifully with our, it's almost an almost solid batik rayon. And we call this one Dakota Knights. And so the tank top for this is the cashmere Springfield top. And simple. I made this entire outfit myself and I just love it. And I'm envious that I gave this away to my, <laughs> to my friend, Chris. Um, but the style of this whole garment is just beautiful and whether it be for a graduation event or just a simple evening out, because we're now getting back to that again. It's just a beautiful, beautiful outfit. And so each one of these, and I have this on our website as what we, we classify as a look. So just to be able to purchase the entire outfit as well, either separately as the tank top, the slacks and the jacket or, or together. And always remember when you're buying multiple things, um, we like to give you a discount. So our fashion packs and our fashion duos always have a discount on the pattern as well as the fabric because you're buying a lot. We're gonna jump over here to this dress. And <laughs> this has a story. This is the same fabric as the top here on the cardigan, but it's the Phoenix Navy Jewel fabric. And this actually is one of our McCall's patterns that is a, I don't have it with me right here, but it's a color, it has color bands on it. And so it's a t-shirt pattern, but it is a McCall's pattern and I'll get you that number. And what I did is I wanted to make it a dress. And so I simply took the design of the top and extended it down and added just a little bit of flair to it and matched that with our um, lake. This is the lake spray in our Jersey knit as well. And I just love how the whole thing turned out so cute and I wear this all summer long. So um, I have to make a few let's, more of these. Let's look at the back. Okay, let me turn this around. I'm gonna set these down for a moment. And we'll turn this around. So it's just a simple 
simple, almost like an A-line shape to it. But all I did was take an existing pattern and extend it to be a dress. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of that, I think, this year with some of our projects, is to show people how to use patterns that we already have in our collections uh, for more than what its intended use might have been. So we can get a lot of, of use out of our um, patterns. Okay, this over here now, I want to turn this a little bit. This is, and they're a vendor at this year's show as well. This is from Fit for Art, and it is their knit um, top pattern, but it has a couple of variations to it. So if you have their base pattern for the jersey knit top and tunic, the variation for the collar and the cuffs, I think, are just spectacular. So this has three different jersey knit fabrics that coordinate. And we also have a kit for this. We have it with or without the pattern and the fabrics to make this exact garment. Plus we made it in, I believe, a purple or lilac colorway and I think in our lake colorway as well. So um, it's fun to actually put the fabrics together just to help you out. We also have a... Um, I don't even I think what do I call it an appointment scheduling on our on our website where you can sign up for a half an hour just to talk through some of the fabrics and it's a free service that we provide too because it's not always easy to figure out which fabrics go together when you're looking at a computer screen so we're here to help you with that anytime the last garment that I want to show you that's on this um, back wall is a simplicity jacket pattern and it is 80.59. I love this pattern because much like the other Calder jacket and cashmere outfit that we did over there, this one is great for a knit plus a rayon. And you can mix and match your fabrics. And it's just a wonderful way to use more than one base cloth in an outfit. I love this long jacket. And that is our Medora Flora Valentine Pink. So that's our first collection of projects from our Jersey Knit. I do want to show you a couple more t-shirts that I think are really, really special. So we'll do that in a second here. Two wonderful t-shirts that I want to share with you. And um, they are Jersey Knit. This t-shirt here is done in our Violetta and it's color Ivy. It's the square neck t the square neck top here from the Friday Pattern Company. And I absolutely love how the neckline, of course, the name of the pattern, square neck <laughs> top, but I really love the way that this pattern was designed for two reasons. One, that the size, which you don't get very often, is a size extra small through 7X. So it is an amazing range. It also has pattern pieces and designs for knits or a woven. And so we were able to do this and to sew this up as a jersey knit, as well as a batik rayon, which I'll show you when, when we walk through some of our rayons. But this is absolutely fantastic. It is a shorter top. I lengthened mine a little bit um, because I like things a little bit longer, but it's easy to adjust and to make it fit you perfectly. I also did a YouTube review on this pattern on our YouTube channel, so you can get some additional details there as well. This top, it's a, and I put these together because it's a very similar neckline. This is designed by Itch to Stitch and write that company's name down because she has an online website of patterns that she designs. She's a pattern designer and they're amazing, amazing garments. I really have loved all of her projects. The one thing about Itch to Stitch is that they are PDF downloadable only. So on our, um, remember when I said that we have fashion duos or fashion packs? This would be considered a fashion pack where we package up the fabric 
and any notions that are needed to make the garment, we have a link within our fashion pack for a direct link into her website. We're an affiliate with them, so you don't pay any more for the pattern. We just get a little bit of credit for promoting it, but I love her patterns. And at one point in time, I sort of was hesitant on PDF downloadable patterns, but I have to tell you that I no longer restrict what I really love. And I just download it, I put the papers together, and I trace it so that I always have the original, and I absolutely love it. And this is one of her designs. I have several, but I just decided to do a separate YouTube channel, um, uh, kind of review of all of the patterns that I've done with Itch to Stitch. And so definitely take a look at that when you get a chance and it'll be out sometime maybe next week or within the next couple of weeks. So we won't spend so much time on that, but it's just an amazing, an amazing top. And this is done with our um, hand dyed Twilight Blue. Okay, that is our little intro for the Jersey Knit and we're gonna talk a little bit about rayon. This is our Batik rayon and it's 45 inches wide. And I have to honestly tell you, it will be enormously boring and enormously difficult <laughs> to show you every single one of these fabrics. We have set up a little display that is in the round and we have grouped our rayon rolls with the colors that are in the hangers behind them. And so it's just impossible <laughs> to kind of share all this. So what I'm going to do is I've selected a few different garments and put them in the area of the color so that you could kind of see each one of our groupings as well as a garment that we just absolutely love. On our website, also just a quick note that if you select the fabric tab and jump into the fabric section, running down the left-hand side of our website are color groupings. So for example, when you see green, you can just click on green and aqua and you'll get this entire selection of fabrics all right there. So that's kind of how we've grouped it. But to talk about some of our fashion duos, one of our favorite projects has always been, and I've talked about this for years, is the schoolhouse tunic. And this is the pattern and it's from So Liberated. And it is in multiple sizes, extra small to, I believe this one is just simply extra large. And this used to be my uniform. I used to wear this every single day, I think until Bruce said, do you have any other designs? <laughs> so, so even though it's beautiful, it is definitely- He didn't say it just like that. <laughs> but anyway. Word from the editor. Yes, yes. But this fabric here that we're showcasing in the schoolhouse tunic is, the Liriope design, and it is a border. And so what I did is I simply ran the Liriope, which is on the selvage down here. So we turned it the other way when we cut out our fabric. It just is beautiful accent to the bottom of the garment. And then the rest of the fabric is the hand dyed. And I'm gonna quickly show this to you on a bolt or a roll, and I'm gonna run over here. Um, we have two different versions of it. Yep. So this is how it is on our roll. It's one selvage with the motif and the rest of the fabric is the hand dyed. And we have an entire uh, fabric collection of that design. So that's our schoolhouse tunic. And as we kind of go around this way, we're we're grouping ourselves now into the blues and turquoises and copan blue area. And I absolutely love how, well, I think everybody in the West seems to love blue. So this is everybody's favorite grouping here all the way through into the lake. So it's just a, a wonderful range of fabric shades. And this jacket is the McCall's 8052. This pattern comes in two different size ranges, the extra small and through the medium, and then the large through the double XL. 
And I'll show you a vest that we made out of this pattern as well. I just haven't done the short sleeve version of it, but it is very fluid in the front. So it's very forgiving, but it has this collar look to it. And I just think it's so elegant. And the fabric that we used for this jacket is the, it's, the motif is called Lady May and the color is Dusty Topaz. And it's one of my absolute favorites. You're gonna see it in a lot of our garments. But you see how the collar, right? It is absolutely gorgeous. And I actually will take a moment and turn it around because the back side, the back of it, there's no seam and it is just simply straight. And so all the fullness is around the front. So it's very figure flattering. This one's going home with me again, <laughs> eventually. They all do. They all do, I know. Okay, and now we migrate more into what we call our twilight blue. And again, this is our schoolhouse tunic. So I won't go into any more detail about this specific pattern. I'm just gonna set that over here. Um, but what I wanna show you is, I don't know if I'll pick out the right one here. Yes, but Lirio also, through some very interesting design concepts, <laughs> which we won't get into. Um, without alcohol. Without, <laughs> This particular version is what we call a double border. So we have the border of the Lyriope design on one selvage and on the other. And what I did with this is I was able, I'm going to show you the sleeves, but I was able to cut, and it is a little shorter. I, I really don't look at this as, as a tunic as much as it is a top because it's going to be shorter. But what I did is I was able to use less fabric because I cut the entire center, which is the, the bodice of the schoolhouse tunic, from the center of the fabric, and then the border of the skirt portion from here. And so sometimes it's difficult to figure out what to do with a border, but we've talked about this so many times, and I have a couple of YouTube uh, videos on, on what to do with this. And I just think we need to be creative when we're positioning a border on a garment. It can be the bottom of a just a, an open button-down shirt. It can be anything. But I think it's just absolutely gorgeous once it's all made up. And it has a cute little closure. It does. It does. The Twilight Blue is where we left off. And I think I can't go past this without actually sharing some of our very, very light rayon shades. And the Cream Pearl is an amazing light color that I often use as a top underneath a darker fabric, whether it's blue or a deeper um, Copen blue shade or even into the browns. It's just a beautiful light color. And these are um, early autumn, right? Early autumn. Yes. And so they work very well with the darker shades that you're going to see coming up here in the line. The garment that I wanna show you here is one of my favorites, to be honest with you. It's, I really love a wrap dress and I'm working on another wrap dress right now that we hope to have available on our website as a fashion duo. This one is a little, that one is a wrap dress that has ties. This one is a wrap dress that has a button closure going down the front. And the detail in the arm is really special. It's a little bit of elastic that has this really neat gathering. And, and it really adds character to the dress. Sometimes I look at these dresses and this is the Saint Germain wrap dress and it has various cup sizes that always is beneficial and it's from sizes 0 to 20 and it's just you can make it in two different lengths as well garment lengths 
but I don't wear dresses enough. And I just think this is one of those that you can put on, whether it be for work, for church, or an evening out. It's beautiful. And the fabric that we uh, made our sample up here is the uh, Gardenie Savine Napa. And it's just, a, I love all of the shades, the beautiful wine shades of this fabric. Okay, and then you'll see here that our groupings of fabric go from the Napa, or here's dark brown, from Napa into all of the brown barks. And it's just, I love the browns. They're just such a rich shade with the gold and some of the blues inside the motifs, just gorgeous. So if you're a brown fan, definitely look those up. And then also into our tuxedo brass. And we have made several garments in our Durham Dreams motif here. This is a border batik. And we have a solid black, which is our tuxedo. We don't have very many solids. Um, the, the tuxedo and the Dakota Knights are really the only two that we have in our collection. Everything else is a modeled hand dyed that coordinates with our motifs. And the last garment that I want to show you within our collection, our round collection here, is from our, um, it's a bright, it's a very, very bright shade. And it is, Valentine pink is the color of this, and it's Garden East Divine. This garment is the summer jazz dress. And I intentionally made this very long as a maxi dress. I love the look, but again, this comes in many lengths. And the size range is extra small to an extra large. It has an elastic gathering at the front. That's a casing inside the front and the back. I'm going to turn this around real quick here has two pleats here to give it a little bit of extra fullness in the back. But it's really an elegant dress. And really, it fits many, many styles. So if you like a lower neckline with some jewelry, and it's great for the summer coming up. And that will finish out our collection into the brights, which are pinks, our reds, the lilac, as well as our coral shades, violetta coral, and um, I have to show you one of the newer pastels. Actually, we have a pastel collection, so why don't we come on over here and we'll show you the new pastels that we brought into our line. We separated those a little bit so you could see what was new. I'm gonna go through these just by color. The first one is mint. Soft mint. Soft mint, right. Soft mint. And this is violetta and a hand-dyed coordinate, which goes beautifully with the Gardenies Divine Suave Green. And the hand-dyed Suave Green as well. A very light version. And then we jump into our soft, soft coral. coral. And there's our lilac. We absolutely love lilac, and so do you guys. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I think we're out of lilac until we get our next shipment. Next week. Next week. <laughs> I might add. And this is sachet, sachet pink. pink with its coordinates. I hope some of these shades are showing up nicely on, on our camera here. This is Perry Blue. Perry Rose. Perry Rose. So it has delicate multicolors inside the motif. And what we found to be amazingly popular is our Chrome. Now that I don't know if it's gonna show up very well, but it's amazing how many we I just never even thought that a lighter gray chrome 
would be so popular and it is and i i love to see what you're all making with our new collection of pastels i see a lot of easter and <laughs> a lot of fun outfits coming our direction the next thing i want to share with you is this kimono which again uh, when we first started with the jersey knit in the back we talked about the kimono jacket pattern done in jersey knit we also have a free download on our website for this version which is out of rayon and i'm wearing one using our border batik this particular one took took a, a, like two yards of fabric because of how I had to position the border. But this garment here, which is a shorter kimono jacket, again, is done simply using a serger and your rolled hem stitch. The only time I went to my traditional sewing machine was to sew the underarm seam right there. But everything else is done using your serger with a rolled hem, everything. And we have several versions of this kimono using, here's a hand dyed top with the Liriope on the bottom. I just think the borders add so much design emphasis to these jackets. And <laughs> for me, now that I've made so many, <laughs> You can make these in a half an hour. You truly can. This is Durham Dreams. Again, that's a border. And I use the hand dyed portion as the sleeve. Here's another border, but it's our Downton border. And again, the hand dyes are on the sleeve. This is a little bit longer. It's beautiful. And then we also have several traditional all over kimonos. And this is the animal print. Again, I made this one longer. So this did take two yards of fabric. Most of them will take a yard and a half. And just fun. Put that on over a nice black tank top or a tan tank top and you have an, a new outfit. One project that you may be very familiar with is a chenille scarf. If you have followed us for several years now, actually, and it's amazing how popular chenille scarves continue to be. So you may know about our chenille scarves, but for those of you who are not familiar with a chenille scarf, it is amazing. That's all I can say. <laughs> and it is made from our batik rayon. It's seven layers of fabric that are cut on the bias. And then we use this fantastic little tool <laughs> called a chenille tool. And the one I do recommend is one from Olfa. And it has different feet, which gives you a different length when you're cutting through the multiple layers of fabric. This scarf here is a version that has not yet gone through the wash. And so what it is, like I mentioned, it is seven layers of fabric. The middle layer is the only thing holding it together. And you can see that this starts out as a beautiful batik. There's a motif, there's color. And we sew these little channels. We use the cutter to cut through them, create little tassels at the end. And when you put it in the washer and the dryer, you end up with the scarf that is so soft. Everything curls. And I think, yes, I do. I have a scarf. Let me grab it down below. But I have a scarf that was made with the lake that's finished. So the motif basically disappears. And the color behind every portion of that fabric is really what shines. And these scarves out of a yard and a half of fabric end up to be about four and a half to five inches wide. And we still sell the kits, so definitely buy one of these. But 
But over the years, I've received so many different questions about chenille scarves. One of them was, can I piece fabric together? Um, I have a whole bunch of rayon scraps. Can I piece fabric together to make a chenille scarf? And the answer is yes, I did my little test. And this was made from three different fabrics. One was yellow, one's orange, and one was red. And we pieced them together and you can see the join lines. So we sewed them together and then we still cut them on the bias. And so you can see that there was a join, but only through color, not through any other technique or how it was, was stitched together or pieced together at all. So definitely piece your rayon remnants together. And the other question I got was how wide and how long can we make a chenille scarf? So what I did was I made a much wider and a much longer chenille scarf. Now, out of a yard and a half of fabric, it's pretty traditional. It is four and a half to five inches wide, and it's about 50 inches long. I used, for this particular scarf that is now Bruce's, um, gotcha. I used six yards of fabric to do this. So it's about 12 inches wide, and it's about 70 something inches long. And I added another component. There's three different fabrics in here. So they're all rayon, of course, but this is how this scarf turned out. And it is a little heavy, but it is an amazing scarf. So have fun with your chenille scarves and each one of these different techniques. Um, I w probably went longer than I wanted to on this little segment anyway, but each one of these little um, techniques is in a YouTube as well. And just search for chenille scarf under Sew Batik and you'll find all the videos for that. But there's just so many combinations for what you can do with chenilling as well. So we have one more topic that we want to talk about, which is notions and what our favorite notions are for both Jersey knit and rayon. Okay, let's talk about some notions. Jersey knit and rayon, they are a different base cloth, of course, but some of the notions we'll be able to use interchangeably. And these are our favorites because we've tested them with our fabrics. One of my favorite of all time is Freycheck. I have to tell you, this is what we use for sealing our threads, sealing our edges to um, any of the uh, serger threads, whatever it happens to be. Fray check is something that you should have by your sewing machine, <laughs> definitely. The needles that we like to use for rayon, I love a top stitch needle. And my recommendation is the Schmetz chrome top stitch and the size that we like to use is the 8012 and you can use smaller as well anything larger and you're leaving an unnecessary hole in your fabric i have two recommendations when we're talking about jersey needles um there's two different manufacturers and to me it doesn't really matter which manufacturer but um again 8012 and they need to be ballpoint or they're going to say jersey on them ballpoint or a stretch needle okay so and here's another manufacturer doesn't matter as long as you're dealing with an 80 12 size is perfect for our jersey knit i love these magic pins i have to tell you and i like the extra fine magic pins. These are the one and seven sixteenths. I don't know what it is, but I have been using old pins forever and these are now my new go-to. So if you don't have them in your arsenal, you are missing out. The one thing that I love to work with, and we always need this when we're doing any kind of garment sewing, is we need a fabric pencil. And I really highly recommend the Bowen pencils because the lead on them is precise. I use them for marking any kind of line on the pattern and um, I can't live without these. I use them on all my cotton projects as well. There are many pencils that you can use. Um, also the Clover Chalk is also a wonderful um, chalk to have in your 
your toolkit as well. And we use this all the time. When well, Actually, I used that mostly when I was doing our ironing board cover kits. And one more item that I can't live without, well, two more actually, are these are pattern weights. Now, you may have your own at home or you just like to use pins, whatever it happens to be. But I like pattern weights simply because you can plop them down on the edges of your pattern, use your scissor or rotary cutter and cut them out. And I don't know, I don't have to make them. They're just, they're just perfect for me. And the last one I want to talk about today is, um, I don't use this often, but I will use Best Press if I need to really iron something good and add any kind of sizing to it. Mostly I use this with our cotton, not necessarily with, I don't use it for Jersey knit at all. Um, but every now and again, I might use this on a rayon. Okay. So those are my favorite tools. Hi, Jen. <laughs> so today we were able to talk to you about uh, rayons and jerseys and give you an overview of what we're putting out there in those two categories. And uh, we're really grateful for the opportunity to be in front of you. Yeah. And it's a real joy for us as well as a privilege. And tomorrow we have another program that's coming up and we're going to feature our 115 inch wide cotton boutiques mm -hmm. as well as uh, actually we're gonna put those into some jackets so 115 inch wide is not just simply quilt backing so we're gonna show you some really really fun projects with those cottons as well as how we've incorporated our cotton into various by Annie uh, bag and accessory projects and we're really thrilled to work with um, Annie and her team on all of her by Annie pr uh, patterns and you're gonna see an entire collection of her notions her zippers her mesh and all that fun stuff to make her beautiful bags and so we're gonna go through some of that tomorrow as well as if we do have time I'm looking at our uh, our store from this area and from this vantage point, I should say, and realize that um, we missed a couple of projects that we're probably going to talk to you about again tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thanks. See you soon. Bye. Bye.